George VI was born at York Cottage on the Sandringham Estate during the reign of his great-grandmother, Queen Victoria. His parents were the then Duke and Duchess of York, the future King George V and Queen Mary. Born on the 14th of December, 1895, the 34th anniversary of the death of his great-grandfather. He was named in honour of him, going by the name of Albert. Albert was often ill and was more sensitive than his siblings. He was cared for by nannies, which was normal for aristocratic families at the time. Albert developed a stammer that would last for the rest of his life. Due to knock knees, Albert was forced to wear painful corrective splints. On the 22nd of January 1901, his great-grandmother passed away and his grandfather became Edward VII. In 1909, Albert attended the Royal Naval College, coming last in his class in 1911. Albert progressed to the Royal Naval College at Dartmouth, nonetheless. In 1910, his grandfather died and his father became George V. In 1913, Albert spent six months on the training ship HMS Cumberland, working as a midshipman. Three weeks after the outbreak of the First World War, Albert was evacuated from the ship to Aberdeen, where he had his appendix removed. During the war, Albert saw little combat due to ill health caused by a duodenal ulcer which was operated on in 1917. Albert served in the Royal Air Force. He qualified as an RAF pilot in 1919 and was promoted to squadron leader. That year, Albert entered Trinity College where he studied history, economics and civics for a year. In 1920, he was created the Duke of York and began to take on more royal duties representing his father. Due to his stammer and shyness, he appeared less confident in public than his older brother David. Unusual for the time, Albert was given freedom to choose a wife. In 1920, Albert developed an infatuation with a married socialite called Lady Lockborough. He put an end to the relationship after being promised a dukedom. That year he met Lady Elizabeth Bowes Lyon for the first time since childhood. He fell in love with her and proposed to her three times. The first two times Elizabeth rejected his proposal as she was reluctant to give up her freedom to become a member of the royal family. Eventually, Elizabeth agreed to marry him, and they were wed on the 26th of April, 1923. They had two children together, Elizabeth and Margaret, born in 1926 and 1930, respectively. They lived in London and led a quiet life. From 1925, Albert began to see Lionel Logue, a speech therapist, to help him with his stammer. In 1936, George V died, and after less than a year on the throne, his successor and Albert's brother, Edward VIII, abdicated his throne. Albert, as first in line, became George VI, taking that regnal name to emphasise continuity with his father. Albert was forced to buy Balmoral Castle and Sandringham House from David to ensure that they passed down through the hands of the monarch. David had inherited them from their father, the previous king. Albert invested his wife with the Order of the Garter on his 41st birthday. George VI's coronation was held in Westminster Abbey on the 12th of May 1937, and in a break with tradition, Queen Mary, Albert's mother, attended the ceremony to show support for her son. In 1939, the King and Queen toured Canada and the United States, becoming the first reigning monarch of Britain to visit North America. The trip was a success, with the King and Queen being received enthusiastically by the public. It forged a strong bond of friendship between the US President and the British monarch. 
War was declared in September 1939, when Germany invaded Poland. George VI and Queen Elizabeth stayed in Buckingham Palace while their daughters moved to Windsor Castle. They refused to evacuate from London. During the Blitz in September 1940, the King and Queen narrowly escaped death when two German bombs exploded in the courtyard of Buckingham Palace, damaging part of the palace. The British royal family were also subjected to rationing and the same deprivations as the rest of the country. The King and Queen provided morale to the public, visiting affected areas throughout the UK. During George VI's reign, much of the British Empire dissolved, with many countries becoming independent nations. The Statute of Westminster of 1931 acknowledged that the Dominions were separate sovereign states. The Empire became a voluntary association of independent states known as the Commonwealth. Britain partitioned India into two independent countries. India and Pakistan in 1947 and both countries left the Commonwealth. George VI relinquished the title of Emperor of India. Many other countries also left the Commonwealth. The stress of becoming king and the stress of the war hastened the decline of the king's health. The king smoked heavily and developed lung cancer and Berger's disease as well as other ailments associated with smoking. His wife, children and son-in-law, the Duke of Edinburgh, represented the king when he was ill. His eldest daughter, Elizabeth, and her husband, Philip, went on tour to Australia via Kenya at his request. He saw them off from London Airport, and this would be his last public appearance. He passed away six days later on the 6th of February, 1952. His daughter flew back to the UK upon hearing of his death. The Lion in State occurred from the 11th of February and his funeral took place four days later on the 15th of February. He was buried in the Royal Vault before being transferred to the King George VI Memorial Chapel in St George's, 1869. His remains are buried beside those of his two daughters, his son and his wife.